and the uh, mysterious mm -hmm. uh, and different color to show the um, different dimensions. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so you see, like the dimensions, like this, this art, this painting is giving you more than just two dimensional, right? It's giving you a perspective, which is like you understand this is three dimensional for sure from this from this painting. But okay, use your perception, use your memory, joy. If this is something that you've seen in your everyday life, what would it be? What would what is the place? What is the location that you can see this kind of thing? Mountain, sea, city, or park, or any place that you that you that you know such here. Um, and I I think it's city. A city, right? It could be a city. It could be like something in city not just in the urban uh, not, not just in the, the the countryside it could be something in the city hmm, interesting why why do you think it could be in the city uh i think uh it looks like the road and the mm -hmm. yeah oh my goodness that's right that is the road and it looks like a bridge right the the as I told you, like the horizontal line, the horizontal line, I, I, I could notation on it. Okay. The horizontal line represents you the directions. Yeah. Right. It represents you the directions. It could represent you a road, right? And most of that thing, you see another line, right? The longitude line, which is like not much. But they have the rhythm, right? And those kind of the rhythm, giving us like it could be expanding, it could be like structure expanding or something. And with those line, right, connecting with the yellow line, it represents like it could be some structure. And the street, the road, and the structure, it could be a bridge, right? It it is the the, the artists try to communicate this art with everyone. Because Billy Eilish is a pop singer, right? Pop singer. So pop song could relate it to the popularity. Most of us could understand this. This is the point of the, the design, right? So more than that, Joy, do you think if this road and bridge, and what about the colors? The color represents something for sure. What do you think about the colors? Um, the colors about the building. Oh, the and, building. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. <clears throat> the dark color show the night and the light color show the, the, the day. And I think uh, maybe the color can show the we weather. Yes, for sure, right? Right, we we, 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 we we learn about theory of the colors from Bauhaus, from Dursley, that we use red, orange, yellow as like hot tone, right, as a warm tone. And we use like blue, dark, purple as like the cold, the warm, the, the cold tone. And those things not represent something effectually if we never rely this thing with the nature. Right, we see the sunrise and we see the sunset. The sky represents things, and we understand things with the nature of the time. Right, when the sunrise is is this is the is the start of the day, is the beginning of the day. The the heat is coming up, the heat is coming up. The yellow shade, the orange shade, like the strong kind of thing, represent us like oh the beginning of the time. And the most of the thing, like when we get darker, like it, when the sunset, everything getting dark, like the vibrance of the spectrum, we understand like dark blue, purple represents something like we warming up, we cooling down, right? That represents the nature and the town. Hmm. Thank you, Joy. You see things very much in this, in this painting. And I think like, if you understand this, 
you can improve yourself to become a better designer. Because once you know the technique, right, you can represent the dimensions from your drawing. You can represent more than dimensions. You can represent straight directions, building, structure, time, colors, um, the, the temperature, anything that you want to represent. You can use just only point line plane. Just point line plane can represent you more than, than just this. That's great, right? That's great. And for sure, this is the cover of the song, Everything You Wanted, Everything I Wanted by Willie Eilish. This is me like she achieved everything that she wanted. Once she were 17, she just got everything she wants. Like she wants to make her music get popular, get famous. He achieved all of the things. And you understand the many of the song with those things. Temple, melody, sound, instrument, experience, visualization, rhythm, video, vocal, song, feeling, sign. Those are these things. It's like the mixtures of the song, right? The song is just not the lyrics. They have melody. Once you use melody, like, like so high note, it represents like you want to become, to achieve anything. High note, low note, and everything. The sounds, the chong, instrumental that you use. Like, okay, you want to make it classic, you use like Western instrumental. Or sometimes like you want to make it more, more modern, you use like synchronizations. You use the technique, you use the tool to represent things. As well, at this song, and you collect everything and you perceive it to yourself. So, this song with your perceptions, you biting things with your own perception, even Bram, Joy, Polly, Jennifer, Alex, every one of you can understand the song differently because most of you not just understand the same sound with the same meanings because you are the one who, who listen to it, to perceive it. So you are the key person to understand things differently, right? Once Brahm listen to this song, she feels like, okay, it's so-so. But once he understands the lyrics, oh, it's deep, it's pretty dark. Maybe Joy like, okay, this is chill vibe. That's fine. That's okay for me. That's chill, chill, chill song. Those are the things that the figures that Billy Eilish and Phineas, her brothers, decide. But you have to understand it by using your own perception. And you will have your own perception. Don't give away yourself. Like, don't put yourself, get away. Like, okay, I think it could be like this. It could be like that. By decreasing yourself, you have to use yourself to understand things. That is the key. Because that will lead you to understand the representational space, not representative space. So this song was launched and launched in the YouTube and SoundCloud. As I told you, like SoundCloud is very like the music platform, which is very nice. Who, like whoever, whoever you are, you can put the song on it and like it's your own song and your own platform to represent your song. And then you can comment on the, the period of the time every second. And this is the lyrics. I had a dream. I got everything I wanted. That is the first press, right? She got a dream and she achieved everything, but that dream, not a good dream because it might have been a nightmare. It's become a nightmare, right? It's very related to what Joy, oh no, Polly just said like, okay, I want everything. I just want everything. And how do you know like you, you, you get enough? of it, of them. I don't know, maybe it's just a dream, like it depends on, on my dream. But have you described your dreams as a good dream, sweet dreams, or maybe it's just a nightmare? Once 
Billie Eilish get everything that she wanted. It's become a nightmare. And that song, speaking of something, I step off the golden. I step off the golden. What is the golden? Have you guys been to America? Raise your hand if you guys been to America before. Or you just open the mic that you have been in America and talk to me. I think once maybe Carl's Kong, have you been to America or the States? Never. Before? Never. Okay. But guess what? Where is the golden? San Francisco. That's right. That's the Golden Gate, right? It's the that is the landmark of San Francisco, the big bridge, which is like connect to to city, right? That is the landmark of San Francisco, the Golden Gate, and why she have to step off the Golden Gate? Why? What do you think, Kang? Carl? Why she had to step off? And before that, thought I could fly. So I step off the golden. Right. I tried to speak. Uh, I tried to sing with it with the melody. Nobody cried. Nobody ever. Even, even know this, that's sad, right? That's so sad. Because you know what, like, every people go to the Golden Gate for maybe like entertaining, for like drive, driving car to get access to another city. But they have something that they went to the Golden Gate. You know what they went for? Suicide. Many teenagers in America, like, when they get like, um, so sad, they never know what to escape from this sad world. Most of them go to the Golden Gate and jump into the sea and then go on, like the suicide. So like this face is so dark and so sad with the chill melody. The melody is feel like, okay. But the song is so sad. She succeed, succeed everything that she wanted once she was 18. She get Grammy, she get everything that she wanted. She get a big car, nice house. She got money that, that she never spent for her life enough. But she not feel good, she feel sad. And she went there because she thought that she want to get away. She thought that she could fly, but she not fly. She just drop into the water. And she's just think like, once she were gone, no one would ever care. No one will cry, will not cry for her. That's sad because like, okay, I'm a famous star. I'm giving you a good song, giving you a bad guy, good girl, go to hell song. It will just laugh about her dress, her being things. But once she gone, no one will ever care, right? She just figure out their life, just entertaining your life. That's sad, right, Kong? That's so sad. And, and I, I really like that you know Golden Gate. Yes, that, that's pretty interesting. And this is her. She giving an interview like every year in Vanity Fair. And this is like two years in a row, four years in a row right now. And she become more famous, more famous by Instagram followers. And she changed a lot because she a pop star. So she, she her body, sometimes her body represents herself. But once she become famous. She have to represent something, right? Brand, right? She 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 had to wear Gucci, um, uh, Burberry. We should support her, right? She have to become something, not free from herself, right? And that's sad, right? She getting sad, and this is Golden Gate, where people are just like this is a landmark of America in the San Francisco city, and once. American people saw this art. Most of the people like understand it because with the shade, the light, and everything represent the way back home. You know what I mean, right? People have to wake up in the morning to go to the city 
to have to start their own life. So most of people went to this bridge in the morning and in the evening. So the, the vibrance of the colors represent, it could be sunset and it could be sunrise, right? It can be like the beginning of the bad thing, or maybe it could be the beginning of the good thing. This song is giving you that idea as well, right? Because once she getting dark, she getting dark, she getting dark. But the hook, the hook of the song is, and you say, as long as I'm here, no one can hurt you. That means like, even like she got everything that she wanted, everything was bad thing. She getting sad, but then one person stay with her. That is her brother. Like once you become famous, once you see the good thing and bad thing, and your life is like a little closer, she get everything. But one person be beside her every time. And she realized that, yes, this guy never hurt her. And this is the only thing that she has. And this is like giving her an idea of being life. So this is her brothers who be with her every time, who creating the song, who be like the, the soul writers for sure, not just like the soul writer by 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 the song, but the soul writer by blood and by spirit. And, and, and he is everything with her right now. For the worst be like, it's giving you a hope, not just giving you a sadness, like once her head's in the waters, she know that it's the past thing that 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 making her like everything she wanted was achieved, but she had to be in prison and and not care about all the people. And this is her. Sometimes like your figures of your identity is like you want to become something, you become student because you want to become an architect in the next time. But most of the time, like, okay, what is an architect mean? What does an architect mean? You have no idea. You're just like, okay, it could be like that. It could be like clever enough, black and white, like creating a good thing, clever. But you don't have to be a clever. You don't have to be like get A for every subject, every course. You never, you never ever want to. You just be in yourself. If you like want to be something that you figure, you become that figure. You never become yourself. You know what I mean? So she's like instructor of being herself and being famous and being Billy Alex, which is represented something once she gets famous. So she tried to negotiate that kind of thing by, okay, once she's scared to represent herself, her body, she just covered it by big shirt, oversight, costume, but now she opened it. She not scared anymore, right? She got everything she wanted, but now everything that she wanted is turned out to be a nightmare because she can be just only a girl who wearing oversized t-shirt. She wants to be more than that. She don't want to be like just a girl with a neon green hair. She just want to be herself. So this is it. This is it. This is just an outro of the song, like, if I know it all then, would I do it again? Would I do it again? This, is, this outro is like the looping of thinking, like, okay, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if? getting to the core of thinking of your mind, but you have to get away from this looping to moving on. And this is the music video. I think maybe like if you have a free time, you can watch the music video by your own self. It's on YouTube. It's interesting that, that he represents the visualization from, from the cover to become the, the music video. It's interesting. I, 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 I'm not spoiled, but if you have time, just watch it. Okay. So she, she wants to like, she wants to have the good relationship with her body. And speaking of the design thing, this is a hump, right? As I told you, 
age you want to become an architect who just want to design a building mean describing an area describing an area that you mean a room you will decide this kind of house all of the time and you will make this perspective at the same as people do but who are you let's find out with your assignment <laughs> so this is assignment an adjective Chiang Mai by dot live play which is your learning from your perception through the place that we were in Chiang Mai right what do you get from Chiang Mai and you define an area by deciding new things so I want you 11 of you maybe you have a paper right now maybe you have a note you put a note on it because you know what I will not giving you a score I want you to evaluate your classmate so you have to give your friend 20 percent by combined from 10 percent is the meaning of the of the painting right of the of the drawing when you saw your friends your classmate drawing if it Chiang Mai to you, if you say it, oh, this is so Chiang Mai, you're giving their score from one to 10. And another thing, if you say, whoa, this is very cool technique. This is very good represent. Oh, so this is represent the designer well. Oh, this is so Prem. This is so Parima. This is so Jennifer. You're giving her more than just one to 10, right? Giving 10 more. So the evaluation of 20% is combined from 10% of the meaning, Chiang Mai. And another thing from 10% from the identity of the designers. So you all will give the score to your friends. And then I will mix and giving the average score. And that would be the 20% of your score individually. So are you ready? You have pen and paper right now you will have to giving your friend a score. Mm -hmm. So I will give you two or three minutes to describe your words. So start with Barima. Oh. Hello, Barima, how are you doing? Hi, good. Yeah. Um, my, my word is uh, according to the photo that I took a monk walking to the doi the mountains mm -hmm. um this one is represent the what the pe old people say they always say like the monk in the town and the monk in the mountain is quite different the monk in the mountain is more like more per more more have mm -hmm. more belief more something more mm -hmm. praying like that and this one is like i just showing the monk is full of colorful and when he walk walking the scene just go out of him i'm playing with the color like behind him is all the black dot and inside of him is all the color that present all the feeling all the belief like inside of the one monk okay that's, yeah. that's, that, 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 that's, that's very nice i think like i really like the dot that you that you represent the dot and mm -hmm. and and i think like the the i i, I uh right now uh 10 of you not not uh our operima you have to give him a score or if you have any comments you can open your mind and ask Parima for more but for me i really like it's very really interesting about your your body from this body and this body it's like um you try to speaking of something like the body and mind or maybe like the the tangible and ten intangible thing do you have any ideas about like why you making the shape of the of your dot with the, 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 the two things, which should look like the same. Uh, um, uh, I just look at the graphic something and I just inspired <laughs> for this book, like you got you got two body. Um, mm -hmm. One is a good one and one is the same one. You are the best up in there. Everyone have a two side of okay. personality, right? Mm -hmm. And I think the monk have it too. Everybody <laughs> has been like the monk is a good one, praying, doing some stuff, eating with together, something like that. But this mm -hmm. one is like when he walked, he got the shadow that proves in his own sin. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Could be. be. The monk as well. 
Uh-huh. Oh, oh, I, I think it's getting deep. It's getting deep. And I really like how you describe it because like, especially like Hmong is a human, right? And yeah. this body human have to represent some religions like Buddha, Buddhist, right? This mm-hmm. body, this body is so like, in the monk uniform, in the monk yeah. those eye body or something. But inside those represented, they have some body, which is you describe as like the mind or mental or sin or something. Yeah. And it's interesting, like that like 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 you use this uh, how to say like um, the inner in the body with mm. those kind of shape, which is like the, the most part of this drawing represent something inside of the monk I, yeah. I, I really like it but but if i can develop this one i think this is this is still two dimension for me if you like making more perspective or making more depth i think the two bodies have, have can can represent more in my opinion okay mm-hmm. and yeah and and, and 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 if like and if you're making the dimension more depth and making like more like the depth in the uphill of the mountain, it could represent the Chiang Mai kind of way somehow. True. Mm-hmm. That's true. Okay. Nice job, Karima. Thank you. Nice job. Okay. Maybe you guys giving her a score already. Okay. Moving on to another words, another job. You have to giving every every single student for 20%. Don't forget it. Okay. Next job, next work, next drawing, Brian. Hello, Brian. Unmute and then speak up about your drawing. Can yeah, you I make? try to control. I want to draw the screen. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can do oh for sure, for sure, for sure. Can you right now? Not yet. Maybe I'm giving you, like, maybe become another host so you can draw it. Maybe. Chen. No. Uh, Brian, now you become a co host. Right? Can you do it? With an anno- occasion. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. okay you, you can see. From the bottom to the top of mm-hmm. my photo. Mm-hmm. The question is, what does Chiang Mai mean to me, right? Mm-hmm. So for me, Chiang Mai is like a very big school that's changing my brand, uh, the branch of my life. Mm-hmm. Uh, in, the be- in the beginning, it's like confusing. Mm-hmm. When I come to live in Chiang Mai, I feel like I'm confusing. I don't know what exactly go and my direction. And then after that, uh, I start to adjust and understand what I'm doing here. And then Chiang Mai give me a lot of knowledge. I mean, both of both directly or indirect knowledge come to me and make me learn and grow like a tea. If you see the overall, I want to represent a tea. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, and you can see the background mm-hmm. of this drawing is still confused. Like mm. on the time, I, uh, still now, I, I always confused, but not much at mm-hmm. the beginning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Um. So so I, I I try to understand your 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 concept your 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 point of view, but I clearly understand it because I it is a tree, right? So you provide this as a two thing. This it could be a branch, right? Yes. And this could be a root, right? And this is kind of like the 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 the, the how to say like an upside down and inside our world, right? Which is if we are a human, we can just see the branch, right? But 
we never see the root in it. Sometimes people just say like brunch is just not that much as the root, right? Because the root suck the water, suck environmental and branch it. But sometimes people just say like, maybe they they look the same. It's just a parallel world, right? But you just say like, this is Chiang Mai because Chiang Mai giving you any ideas and you like, you're growing like a tree. I, I challenge you, I challenge you, right? If you, re if you represent tree with the top, right? Why not? Okay. Um, why not just making these anger? Because you know what, like, when we talk about time, right? Mm -hmm. We have like left and right, right? It's an old to present to the futures, right? It's like we continuing. It's like it start from somewhere and you continue to something and these branches can be like growing further or something. And this like the root that you get it from, or maybe like the root is branched as well. Like it could be like the spreading of the time. And 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 it's like it, it could be like represent university more than represent a tree. I don't know. Like if, if, if you if you try to relate it to your 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 journey with your life and you use like the, the graphic of the tree, which is represent of the time. And I really like the first idea that you combine the tree which is the branches and the root. Because like looking back from your photograph, you providing things as the two things, right? The, the, the building and the cafe. And this is kind of like your, your idea, your identity come from that. Interesting for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you, Bram. Okay, thank you. It's very, it's very fun. Okay, don't forget to giving Bram a score, everyone. Okay, moving on to another person. Okay, Julian. Yeah. Um, I think um, Chiang Mai is a city with a heartbeat. Um, it gives me the uh, impression that it can brace, uh, represent uh, some uh, like mountain. Mm. So I draw this line. Mm -hmm. so, so, so you send me in this kind of anger. What would it be like? It's another, another anger. Like I, ha I could flip it, or you think like this is the way it could be. Um, I think um, uh, every anger is um, uh, can see different uh different feel in the uh Chima city maybe this right maybe this yeah. would be better to represent the mountain and everything okay use a line but um that's it julian jennifer yeah okay i think if you want to represent Chiang Mai, right you have to think of like this this type of like mountain, this is Chiang Mai or not? Because Chiang Mai that we live, right? The mountain is not that slow. It's, Chiang Mai is like slow, slow and getting wide, more than that, right? Some people yeah. just, just this. it's more like the, the, the heartbeat more than just Chiang Mai, in my opinion. But it's very interesting that you will use a heartbeat graphic to represent Chiang Mai. Because like, that means, right, Chiang Mai City has the heartbeat related to the nature, right? This is so, this is so deep inside of Chiang Mai people. Because you know what, when PM 2.5, right, when we have air pollution, we feel sad. But we feel sad because of we never see the mountain. The mountain used as the landscape that we describe, okay, we have the bad air pollution because we never see the mountain. 
The mountain is good like the heart of the city. Once you never see the heart, you feel like, okay, our heart is not beating. That could represent more. I really like the concept. Jennifer, I couldn't agree more. Like the concept of your idea is very interesting. But the way that you describe, it can improve more, right? How to make the rhythm of the heartbeat with, by using a line representing my as the mountain city. You have to improve it to make people just like, oh, this is Chiang Mai. And why Chiang Mai make the mountain with the heartbeat? They will understand more. Oh, really? And then giving you in the depth of your idea, right? You have a very interesting idea, Jennifer. Thank you. Okay. Moving on to another word. I, I will keep I will keep cheat, but I will not give you giving you a score. So your friend, your classmate will give me your score. I just a commentator by not giving you a score. Okay. Um some people not agree with me. That's fine. Just giving another comment. All right? Speak up. So we can learn together. Okay, moving on to Polly. Hello, Polly. Uh, hello. Um, hello. I will refer. Um, just like I say, I said, um, the color in Mark uh, in Chiang Mai is is colorful and it's not looks messy. So. Uh, Sorry, I uh, have uh, so, so I use a lot of color to represent mm -hmm. and uh, the kind of color is represent one thing, just like the left green and brown part. Uh, this is means the uh, top, those big tree, big trees uh, in the Chiang Mai. And uh, another thing represents um, the um object in the market or another place because i think everything in chiang mai is colorful and beautiful so i use the different color um map to represent that's so you all. use so you use a dot right you are street yeah street yes I, I i think you have to scan scan and send it to me because it could be beautiful than just taking a picture. Because I think the detail of how you compose this graphic is really nice. It's, it's, it's balanced, but not sym symmetrical. But the, the color that you use as, the, as a dot is really interesting because the blue and green can represent the mountain and, and the river of the city and uh, brown and um, how to say purple kind of thing. It's like something happened in the city, like the, 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 the market, the, 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 the street things. It's just nice. It is nice. And if like, we went, if, if we went to like the, 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 the gallery or exhibition, which is called Shemai, and once we see these pictures, we will think like, okay, what is Chiang Mai? But the colors is represent Chiang Mai somehow. And, and the way that you use color, I think they have the mastermind behind this because you use green in the top, in the upper part, and you use blue in the lower part. It's representing much about like the Deutsche Tape and Bing River more. And then with the, with the brow and the purple, it's like, it's randomly happened in the city like, the, the, the street food, the street culture, and people. But but if I can create or elevate this work, I think um, the, the, how to say, like the group of the dot could represent the figures of the something behind that, right? The, the, the street or the, the life in the city could represent more than just the same dot. Maybe like they have the small dot than the bigger dot at the mountain and the river. I don't know, but 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 yeah, but that's nice. I can see Chiang Mai in it for me. Thank you, Polly. Thank you, Polly. I really like this this, this drawing. Uh, but, but, but 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 more but 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 all of you have your own opinion. If you don't see Chiang Mai in it, you just 
just free, just giving her score with your opinion. But for me, I think this is nice. Okay, Kiko. Hello, Kiko. You use lie, right? Uh, yes, I use lie. Okay, speak mm. up. Uh, for these things, I have uh, three layers. The the first, uh, the first layer is um, the very big this thing. The simple of the, the in the middle of the paper, it's simple of the um, school. The school the when the our factory when our in when, when us entrance for that we can say that like the star things mm -hmm. and um, use the the size of the two sides of the light the, the lights it's simple of the demand because um because from our video we connect the nima and nima road and the school mm -hmm. our fact uh, our fact to link off and mm -hmm. for the middle is uh, our uh, it's a bird. It's mm. from our videos, the mi mi middle things. We, we, we have a bird. And mm. uh, for the right, the, the right side is uh, leaves. It's mm. simple of the, uh, well become the uh, art team. And uh, it's simple of the leaves uh, mm. with, with our, Factory, a uh, factor, and the the left side is one Nima. It's simple of the Nima, and the one Nima is our to uh, our teams to uh, have this video space. Mm -hmm. And the second floor is one market. It's mm -hmm. simple, of Nima. Everyone knows that. And the everyone and the right. The right side is um, clock uh, clock towers. Uh, is uh, Nang Mong. Yeah, no, yeah. Nang Mong, yeah. <laughs> Nang Mong is the clock tower and the um, uh, and the sales way is simple of the knowledge and the our factory. Uh, and the lift uh, and the lift side is the one immense the steel egg, egg. Mm. Uh, and the top the, the top floor is mm, connect the immense the cycle lights mm -hmm. and uh, our school's classroom mm -hmm. you can see the number uh, oh wow two oh <laughs> this mm. is, so you this are is. so detailed <laughs> you, you have a lot of detail in this in this in this drawing. Okay. Uh, anything more, Kiko? Uh, no, that's all. Okay, that's great. Like you are so detail. Like they have a lot of details in your drawing. But you know what? Like I what that one thing that I don't really like of this drawing. You know what? Because you <laughs> writing the name on it. Um. Because like, you know what, like, this is kind of like, you think that maybe the viewer or maybe there's someone who see this drawing will not understand it. But you represent those things by the graphic of the landmark things. I guess everyone can understand it by not telling the word. That's, that's the one thing that I really don't like about this drawing. You're just giving one new man away, like giving like one market away that could represent more. But I think you, you, you provide this drawing with many, many uh, layers, right? Yes. But I, I want to challenge you. If you draw everything by the, 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 the meaning of it inside of every block, it's still providing things. You, you know what I mean, right? One demand, still one demand. Yeah, mm -hmm. our faculty is still our faculty clock tower is still mm -hmm. clock tower, but I want to challenge you more. Like, if you have to provide like the same figures, right? But you're not giving the same pic the, the the whole pictures. Like maybe our faculty like this, maybe clock tower like this, maybe one demand like this, like this, like this, like this, and I want to see what is the continue line 
from everything that you use it, make it continue. And this will become one picture. This will become one picture. And this is a new thing. This is new. This is not you're just drafting, right? You know what I mean, right? You're not drafting things, but you use things to make it as your own new thing. This is new. This is collecting things. You know what I mean? I, I want you to improve more, but your idea is interesting because you never lie. Chiang Mai is the thing that you look, you're just collecting and making as the Chiang Mai as the whole pictures. But I want you, you to challenge more by making the continue line and represent things that just not one thing, but we understand Chiang Mai by those kind of things. Mm -hmm. That would be great. Thank you, thank you very much. Kiko. Thank you. Okay, moving on to, who is this guy? Jennifer. Jennifer. Okay, yeah. you send me without without student code or any word, any name, so I guess maybe Jennifer. Uh, uh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Maybe next time you you, you have to tell me who you are. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Jennifer. So, I draw this. It's um <laughs> means the darkness before the sound, and okay. then. Even if the world is full of darkness and uh, the sun will break up the clouds. And uh, Chumai for me is a very comfortable place. And mm -hmm. uh, also the surface is uh, not so gorgeous, but mm -hmm. its heart is warm, beautiful, mm -hmm. comfortable. So, mm -hmm. so what I want to say is, is life is always getting in your way. So mm. look at the good thing around you and find the different colors. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So you are in the group of street. Which group you are, Jennifer? Uh, my group is plan. Oh, oh, okay, 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 plan. You just plan. If you just plan, I think the black plan is interesting. <laughs> The black plane, all of okay. those black plane is interesting. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, it's bad. I think the black plane is interesting. And if you just have a black plane, I think this could be like a brilliant job. Okay, but <laughs> because you know, I just, I just didn't understand what plan. I'm always thinking about what his plan, how, okay. how I can express it. You know so what, I, like, like uh, if you draw, it look like, if you draw a pic, if you draw your own pictures, look like the thing that you see, then you have like a better artist who can draw beautifuler than you. You know what I mean, right? If you draw mm -hmm. something that you see, but what you see is just not the same perception that other artists see. Maybe the artist is like, oh, he's good in painting. He will painting this kind of perspective, beautiful than you. But you see things as the life and comfortable feeling, right? This feeling could represent by the plane. And I could see in very bad area, Jennifer, like I think black area in the plane is so, how to say, like cozy. It's so Chiang Mai because like Chiang Mai is more narrow. It's like, it's complex, like the black area of the, of the, of your drawing. But most of the orange street and the sun, I think is, is not your idea. It's very like it's annoying me so much. Like, oh, why, why, why do, <laughs> why do you have to draw the sun, the the, the, the <clears throat> orange, the the radiant <laughs> of the sun? Why? Because you have your own identity through your black plane. I think the black plane it represents enough about Chiang Mai as the comfortable place. Whoa! I think you have an idea. I I think you have to try to understand your idea and then not losing yourself by making it more reality. I think you, you, you just like, 
you, I think you you become more identify yourself more if you understand what you want to draw, not what the picture you want to be like. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, that that could be great. Okay, I really like the back plane in these pictures. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, moving on to Chris Brina. Hello. Here's Hello. My... Yay. Yeah, I I use the thought to draw my work. Mm -hmm. I think it's quite difficult. So I draw I draw it in normal way. And then mm -hmm. I use the pigment, use the pigment, go straight up on the paper, just mm. to um, dot on the paper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it feels like this. Okay, so what is the meaning behind this? What what is Chiang Mai that you want it's, to represent? Uh, it's a corner of a street, like a tree and some graffiti, and here is a monk in our group. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a monk. I thought yeah. like that that someone sitting on the, the, the tree somehow. And <laughs> why and why you have to put B E S or best? In the background, but what why you would have to to play it the best? Um, the meaning I think is uh the uh Chiang Mai Street is the best. <laughs> mm. Uh, how to say? Uh, like it's freedom. The lifestyle is best. It's my favorite lifestyle, and the uh, and the street corner uh, feel me relaxed. And the mm. monk is enjoy his life, <laughs> so I use enjoy his life. Uh, yeah, yeah. I use the best as the graffiti and uh, to be the background of my picture. You know what? Like um, the the adjective that you have to use is the 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 what? What is the adjective of your group? Thought. Lifestyle, right? Lifestyle, dot. yeah. Lifestyle and dot. And I think you used a color very brilliant because like, you know how to make the depth. You know how to make the depth by just making a dot, right? I really like this part because you can see like, what is the front object and what is the behind an object? The dimension represent very well by using those colors. And another thing is, those part, right? Those part is very beautiful by composition pointing something. And I don't like the whole picture <laughs> <laughs> because it's very easy to represent something based by represent B-E-S-T. And it's very easy to represent the corner of the tree by making the tree and the monk in it. You know what? If you just, if you just cop, like if you just show me this, I don't know, or maybe, or maybe just, just send me just this. I would think like, whoa, this is Chiang Mai. Yeah. And, and represent more, like you don't have to tell the whole story. You just give like, you're just making the pictures or drawing looks best or look like comfortable in this angle, right? Like the, the, the space under the tree. I think the space under the tree is very beautiful. Maybe you just cop like this. I don't know, like the beautiful of the, your color is those area. And the story that you want to tell in this area have to sync, right? You have to combine those two things as uh, one picture. And then that's it. I think you have to draw the, the, the bigger picture to understand the whole thing. But you're just giving your emotion through the yeah. door, through the drawing. I think you have you have your skill, but that could be better that you that you use or maybe challenge with the composition. Just copy it or like making more sense by by your user of your emo emotions. Like okay, this is feels feel best or not? Because if it making this picture like this, it could be like a tree. That's it. But if you have the skill to making this picture more depth and the dimensionals represent as well in this in these pictures. Thank you, Christina. Thank you. 
Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. use the color very well. Okay. <laughs> Moving on to this guy, Alex. Uh, I I think uh in my opinion, mm -hmm. Mai is a city at the foot of the mountain, mm -hmm. and uh, there are no tall buildings and no noise crowd, mm -hmm. and everything basked in the sun and air, even the cloud did stop. And uh, I'm very enjoy this kind of quiet. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I think um, if it be the first draft for you, Alex, I think you you have very beautiful drafting because I think this could be a view that you get from your own corridor or your own window, isn't it? Uh, yes. Okay, but you just drafting the view. You just want to deliver the view that you just saw, right? By the way that you see. But who are you, Alex? This is, I think, this is, I think I want these questions. Question yourself, all of 11 members, like, who am I? Right? If you have to do a job like making this real by your own technique, by your own identities, right? I think Alec represent, rep represent Alec her, itself by just making a lie, right? With the, how to say like, with unto lie, like this lie, all of this lie is so hand free. It's so hand sketching. It's so hand sketching. But this, but what if, what if you have just only the red line in your drawing and you just tell me this is a Chiang Mai. It could be interesting, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because like the strongest idea of your drawing is the horizontal line. You don't have to draw a sun. You don't have to draw the water tower <laughs> because it's obvious, it's too obvious, right? This is like, this is more like the, 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 the still, no, not still then, like the, the primary school drawing if you put the sun in it. <laughs> okay. But if, <laughs> but if you just represent something that you get from, from your perceptions, then I try to understand your perception because you represent the horizontal line very well. And if you use a green, a green line, or maybe you put the color on it, it would be more scent. I don't know, but the horizontal line is very strong in these pictures. And without saying thing, obviously, you can represent things as a conceptual well. And it could be great. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Zalek. Thank you, Zalek. Okay, try to challenge yourself like, who am I? Who is Alex? And giving the better version of Zalek to me next time. Okay. <laughs> okay. For the last person. Oh no, not not the last. Okay. Joy. Hello, Joy. Yes, I'm here. Yes. Um, and uh, Chiang Mai gives me the feeling is very comfortable and very fresh. Mm -hmm. So I used a light color lens to represent the quiet of Ch Chiang Mai. There are some waves ups and downs, mm -hmm. just like mountains, water, and its natural feeling. Uh, sometime, sometimes, depending on the weather, mm -hmm. um, lightning strikes and raining days break the mm -hmm. silence. So mm -hmm. like that. Oh, um, Joy, you know what? Like, it's so challenge to make a lie um, represent the depth, represent three dimensionals. But you know what, like you have done it. You know what, like you're making this lie and this lie and you make a layer. Once you make a layer, you're making things dimensionals. These pictures giving three dimensionals, just making lie very well. 
I can't believe that you can use it. Like you use this, this line to make this line more the depth to making a layer. This, those lines, this lines, making like this is the pattern. This is like they have the depth of this drawing very well. I really like the way that you use this pencil and thin line. It's very nice. It's very nice. Very nice. But the thing that I don't like, Joy, <laughs> is to use a bigger pen. This area and this area. You you just like, you just not how to say like, you done very much about about the thin line, about the thin pen. But when you use a magic pen, which is a bow line, you just like draw it, draw it, and 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 it destroy the depth of the drawing. If you think the same, like it is bigger, you should have to continue the bigger with the pattern of the line because it's like the the background, right? Or this pattern is you have to like how to say like you have to have a detail to make this drawing. Done complete. I, I really like the 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 white the, the red line that I just draw. Is I just I just continue from your line. I really like this. It represents the depth and giving us the space. But the uh, the yellow line, I think you have to develop more. <laughs> and you just boom, 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 and make it dark. And if you think in the same, like, I think it could be representing my without telling. And those. Red line to represent mountain, represent the wind, blow, represent the, the pattern of the time, represent you, represent anything personally. This is the beginning of the very good thing, the beginning of the great thing. If you continue making your, the yellow line clever or following following your 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 your, your perception. That could be like brilliant, but you really have a technique to make a line depth and make a line showing the space. Nice job, nice job, Joy. I really like your technique. Okay, um, for the last person, Kong or Carlos, which is giving me nothing. Um, I forgot to send you. Okay, Can I show you now. For sure, for sure. For making 20%, you have to show uh, your classmate something, right? Okay. <laughs> now you, you can share your screen. Can you see? It's coming. Okay, I can see right now. Mm -hmm. Um. It's a small alley in Chiang Mai. Mm. And my um, the the name of uh, our group is uh, Plan. Mm. So I think um like uh plan is um like like uh like i feel like um it's limited mm. and uh they are age edge mm. um in the plan so i think mm. it's very similarly with because uh, under the this pandemic, mm. um, Chiang Mai is like always limited. Mm. When the pandemic happened, the tour the tour tourism is um, going it's, down. Yeah, going it's not down. going down. Like we are just have nothing here. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. it's like a ghost town right now. Yeah, ghost town right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's what? What's more that you want to explain about your trip? And like the 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 many 
there are many places in Chiang Mai. The mm-hmm. like, um, I think the city designer is like try to um, design Chiang Mai. I mean, mm-hmm. many alleys mm-hmm. is like like a like 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 a box, you know, mm. 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 like four walls. And it became a box. Mm-hmm. Especially when you are walking in the alley and you mm. feel like it's like you walking a, like a box. Mm. Um, I really like the, the, the idea of alley because alley is like the small road right which is connected to the main road but you, have you heard about the the, the word soy tongue soy no 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 you never soy is it mean alley in thai it's a thai word soy like soy nung soy song soy sao it's mean alley number one alley number two alley number three right soy nung soy song soy sao especially like soy um i have to draw something okay um This is like the, the modern city making the making the city by grading, right? It's great. So this is this is a small, small, small road we call alley, right? With the main yeah. street, with the main street. This is like the, the main street. But the substrate we call alley. But in Thailand with the roof, right? Thailand has the big, oh my god, I have to draw it new. Thailand has the blue, have this kind of main road, which is connected to the to the temple, and then have the small street, which is not in the grid line, someplace. This we call soy, which is mean alley, but it's not the same figures of alley, of alley because the graphic is so like curvy. It used to be like agri- agriculture way to making the agriculture cultures. So that's, that's why the alley is not like the, the strong grid line But it's curvy sometimes, it's so zigzag, it's so like more like the agriculture way. And if you come up with an idea of alley, this picture is very nice. You know what, like what is represent alley in this drawing? No. Whoa, you have to have an idea or something. You are the owner of the, 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 the pictures. I think the combinate thing that you put in on the street, Those things, have you seen my, my drawing? No. It, have you? It only got uh, aligned. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, okay, how, how do I do? I'm sorry, like, what happened? Why I cannot, why you guys not see my, Do you see my my blue, my blue colors? I only see one line for red. Okay, then let me share my screen. Okay. I guess everyone see my screen, right? Okay, everyone see my screen, and this is an alley. Right, yeah, it's an alley. Not just this anchor to represent an alley, right? This is a perspective that making you just like you coming through something. But this thing, this thing, making the alleys. It could be a road, but you try to making this anchor, this perspective, look like the alley in Chiang Mai by putting something, but tangibly look like the obvious thing that much. And another line that is very interesting is the electrical and the graphic of the tree. This is making more sense like Chiang Mai, right? Yeah. I think if just only have the blue line that could represent your idea enough, This is just blue, blue light that I just draw that represent the alley 
the street culture in Chiang Mai, which is you, you, you want to represent it, but you are in the plain group. Do you know what I mean? So you draw the strong line in red to making this more like the plane design. But for me, if you're thinking of a plane, right? You have to see the space with the yellow. This is the plane which is coming from the drawing. You know what I mean? So this picture, if you want to represent plane, you just put yellow on just empty plane. That's it. That represents plane already and represent alley in your perspective with the plane design. Do you know what I mean? You get yeah, it? I know. I know. Yeah, that could represent you in the better versions. I, I never try to make you understand or making you become me. But I think I want to elevate your ideas and you can become the better designers by using your idea and elevating your point of view. And I think if you just represent yellow and send it to me, that's a five-star drawing. I think, whoa, this is abstract. And the, the, the relationship between the, <clears throat> the graphic of yellow represent the complexity of the things in the alley in Chiang Mai, whoa, whoa, whoa. Right, without without telling everything, like without drafting the view, but it's come from the, the view that you understand or you perceive from the alley in Shimon. Okay, thank you everyone. That is the wrap of our class. So you all, you are, will get 20% by your classmate. <laughs> That's fair enough, right? That's fair enough. You will give score to each other. I think like you have learned with me uh, almost, uh, not almost, but already a month already. And then it's time for evaluate for the first score, 20% by your friends. So don't forget to reply your mail to me and what is the score that, that you give to your classmate before Monday, okay? So Tuesday, I will present you with score that you got from your friends by average score, okay? So next Tuesday, we have the special class, as I told you, like we will have like the integrated with the graduate school. So this Tuesday, we will have like the seminar, which is collaborative with Ajahn Pranom. And she will bring like another graduate school will represent the, rep, uh, the public space in a new normal life. So we will discuss about that in a Tuesday class, but our class, we, we represent the perception of the public space. So I want you all to join the class in the same time, which, we, which is like when the, our class had, but change your wallpapers with your drawing. With your drawing. So like I can see like, oh, this is like the, the perception student. So like we have like the background as the abstract art, which is we represented just yet. Okay, and from this seminar, we will have like our own seminar. And in 30 of July, we will have like the our first seminar, which is collaboration with Ajahn Pranam as well. But I will collect you as a midterm project. So the midterm projects, it would be like a small project in our, in our course, but you will not have like the midterm examination. So you can have pay attention to your time with the studio in during the midterm examination weeks. So this is our plan. So we have like two more weeks to creating our own midterm small project in Do It Only. That's it for today. Thank you everyone for joining class and see you guys Tuesday with the breakout of your drawing. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Don't, don't forget to send me a score. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.